Hi everyone, Miss Rachel here. I'm so excited that you could join me in my kitchen today to make our no-bake cookie pebbles. I hope you guys are excited to make these. Come on, let's get started. Okay, to get started, we're gonna add our chocolate sandwich cookie pieces into a plastic bag. I'm gonna make sure that's sealed up really tight because we don't want any crumbs falling out. And you can even press some of the air out of it, just like that, okay? And then you can squeeze really hard with your hands to break up all the cookies. We want them to be like really fine crumbs or just like dust. So you can squeeze them with your hand or if you're like me, you can use a rolling pin to crush all your cookies up, just like this. And if you need an adult's help, that's fine too. Just ask someone in your house to help you. Okay, we're gonna take our cookie crumbs and dump them out into a big bowl. Now before we add our next ingredient, we're gonna take a tablespoon of our crumbs and we're gonna add it to our melted white chocolate. And we can set that aside. Next, we're gonna add in our really soft cream cheese. Okay. And we're gonna stir this around until everything is combined. Again, if you need an adult's help, just ask someone in your house to help you but you want your cream cheese really soft and it should make like a dough. So just keep. Okay, so once you're done with all the mixing, your mixture should look something like this. It should look like just a ball of dough. It'll be nice and incorporated and all together. Okay, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna use a cookie scooper but if you have just a measuring spoon or just a regular soup spoon, that'll work just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop our dough. You can roll it into a ball for like a little rock like that. We're gonna place it on our pan. Or if you wanna shape it into a pebble, you can do that as well. So you just kind of Flatten it out a little bit and make it oval shape. There you go. Looks like a little pebble. Okay. And we're going to keep doing this until all of our filling, I mean all of our cookie mixture is formed. So you can make it into... Now if you used a different um, mixer instead of cream cheese, your texture might look a little bit different than this, and that's fine, no worries. If it's a little bit softer than this, once you roll your cookie pebbles, you can just put your mixture in the refrigerator and let it harden before we cover, um, before you cover it with chocolate. That's fine, no worries. Okay, so I have all my cookie pebbles made I have some pebbles, some are little balls, whatever you wanna do, that's fine, okay? Now, we're gonna take our melted chocolate mixture and stir the cookie crumbs into the chocolate, just like this. Now, your cookie pebbles are delicious, just like this. So if you wanna eat them just like this, that's fine. But who doesn't like chocolate, right? I mean, these are so much better dipped in chocolate. So what we're gonna do is take a fork, okay? Place one of your cookie pebbles on your fork. We're gonna dip it in the chocolate, okay? And if you wanna take a spoon to just kind of make sure the whole cookie pebble is coated in the chocolate, just like this. And then you'll take your fork, 
kind of tap it against the bowl a little bit. And then you'll put it back on your tray. And you're gonna let it sit for just a few minutes until the chocolate hardens. Now I'm just gonna keep dipping my pebbles in the white chocolate until I have them all done. And that's it, our cookie pebbles are done. I hope you all enjoy eating them as much as we did making them. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and enjoy all your Bible school lessons. See you all again soon, bye-bye.